Hello and welcome to Tech Magnifier. I'm Rahul Sethi and today we'll do a head-to-head -head comparison between the three most popular phones in the budget category of 7 to 8,000 rupees. So first is the Micromax Unite 2, which is available at the price point of 7,000 rupees. Next is Lava Iris X1, which is available at a price of 8,000. And the next is the most popular Moto E, available at a price of 7,000 rupees. So first we'll talk about the looks of the phone. So if we look at uh, Micromax Unite 2, the phone has been properly designed. Uh, it has a removable back cover and the removable battery as well. But the design feels like it is some sort of a cross between Samsung Galaxy S2 and LG Google Nexus because the thinness and the, and the screen size, the way it's built, reminds me of all the two phones. Next is the uh, Lava X1. The edges, the curves, the camera placement and the buttons all remind you of one and only one phone that is the Apple iPhone uh, but it's uh, a little longer so it feels like uh, your iPhone has been drinking Complan so it's taller than the iPhone but looks almost the same next is the Moto E which looks like Moto X similar sibling but still it is a lot a lot thicker and feels like you are holding an old phone from the 90s uh, but still it's built solid so if you talk about the build quality uh, I really like the color build quality of Moto X it has waterproofing the Corning Gorilla glass at the front uh, and the, the shape it is built so the Moto E is quite sturdy phone whereas these two phones are also built quite well but uh, I would say that they are not as good as Moto E in the build terms. Uh, Mo uh, Micromax Unite 2 also does a great job here. It has a uh, good screen uh, guard and uh, when you f the, f the feel of the phone is quite tough when you hold it. Uh, it's quite built, built is quite sturdy. Even Lava X1 has good build quality and if you compare uh, it with other uh, higher priced phones of Lava that is the Pro 20 or Pro 30, the build quality is much better and uh, it should not uh, be the only reason for not buying the X1. Next we're talking about the display of the phone. You can see the display specs on the screen. So as you will see the specs are mostly similar, the screens are almost similar but let's check a video comparison where we check the display and color output of the phone so first is the uh, video that is running similarly on both the on all three phones so as you can notice the color quality of X1 is better than both no, uh, Moto E and Unite 2 but if we see the viewing angles note Unite 2 has much better viewing angles than both of the phones and overall the display and the uh, color quality and the brightness the illumination of the screen Micromax Unite 2 wins here it has best viewing angle among among the three and it has much better overall illumination on the screen so if you are dimming the brightness to the lowest still it has quite a lot of illumination to keep the phone bright and colorful so next is the performance on these phones and I think after Moto E, Micromax and Lava has made huge improvements in their performance considering the price point they are priced at. So uh, Micromax Unite 2 has uh, commendable performance and I, I have to say that I was surprised that at this price, price point Micromax has launched a, uh, this type of phone. It has a quad core processor and a GB of RAM and for rendering graphics it has a Mali GPU. So Mali 400 takes care of good graphics very easily and you will see that whether it's gaming or video performance Unite 2 will not fail and it is a great contender uh, that can stand against Moto E. So Moto E and Unite 2 have lag free and good performance but encountered some glitches in the user interface with X1 and there were uh, few lags here and there 
it both uh, all the three phones still run KitKat 4.4 but uh, to sum up the performance I would say Moto E performs excellent and so does the Unite 2 now we talk about the cameras on the phone and this is where the tables turn so my Moto E has a camera of 5 megapixel but we were very disappointed with its camera it does, it does not offer touch to focus or auto focus you just have to touch and the photo is taken without any focusing and stuff but Lava Iris X1 has an 8 megapixel camera that takes uh, clean shots and considering an 8 megapixel though it's not that good but uh, the autofocus, the interface uh, was very good and we were able to take clean shots as you can see but we were very much surprised with Unite 2 the camera is 5 megapixel with single flash autofocus but the photos taken were very good as compared to both Moto E and X1 last we talk about the battery backup on the phones all the three phones have very big batteries compared to the sizes the Unite 2 has 2000 mAh battery X1 has 1800 mAh battery and Moto E has 1980 mAh battery but compared to all the two phones Moto E has the best battery backup and next is the Unite 2 so Lava X1 has the least battery backup but when compared to Unite 2 it will give a better backup if Unite 2 will be used for gaming so Moto E did quite made an impact on the smartphone market and trigger a very healthy competition that forced these companies to make good phones at this price point but to figure out which one is for you to buy you need to single out the good qualities and the bad qualities so that you can compare them and make your decision so Moto E offers very good value for money it has very good interface the stock Android experience it's guaranteed update the design of the phone is very good the speakers are placed on the front the build quality is excellent and the performance on the phone is also seamless but what you don't get with this phone is a good camera so you need to look at the next phone the X1 if you want a phone that looks good something like the iPhone uh, it has a good camera this color reproduction of the display is very good uh, it's best among the three and the design is also very good but what you don't get here is a lag free interface there were some glitches here and there and we also noticed during our test that the 3G speed wasn't very good next is the Unite 2 so Micromax has really really improved the segment which uh, the 7000 segment of the course and this phone performs great looks great and the design and build quality is also at par with all the other phones that are priced in the segment so Unite 2 does offer an added advantage here it offers a very good camera that Moto E fails to offer so does that mean Unite 2 beats Moto E in the competition? I would say Unite 2 has its own shortcomings first is that the screen is not as smooth as Moto E so while you're using the phone the touch response is not as smooth as you'll find on Moto E second is the build quality is not as good as you get on Moto E and third is the after sales service and we all know that Micromax is famous for not providing a good after sales service so while making decision you need to keep these all these points in mind till then have a nice day for latest news and reviews of gadget and games visit www.techmagnifier.com